the 1980 Olympic Games held in Moscow was filled with intense competition, dreams being broken and coming true, and of course, political statements. As always, the opening ceremony was inspiring and got everyone excited for the Games. The torch was lit by Sergei Bilov, a Russian Olympic medalist who won his medal in basketball. The ceremony also included a human tower and a ton of cheering for the hosts, the Soviets. At the end of it, everyone was excited to go out and compete for what they'd been working for their whole lives. Many records were broken at the Games, including the records for women's javelin throw, male high jump, and the he most heavyweight titles by a single person. Although many athletes got a chance to show what they were made of, a lot of them did not get that chance. 65 countries took part in a boycott of the Games, meaning that many athletes could not come and do what they've been practicing for their entire lives. The boycott was, re was a response to the Soviets invading Afghanistan in late 1979. America was the first to react to the invasion by the Soviets. President Jimmy Carter sent a threat to the Soviets that if they didn't pull their troops out, America would boycott. After the threat wasn't taken seriously, America kept its word and gathered the support of many other countries to join in the protest. As a result of the protest, the level of competitiveness of the games was lessened. Less money was made as the usual amount of broadcasting networks could not come, and the intensity of the games was not at the level that it should have been and was at for many previous years. Sadly, politics proved more important than friendly sport because many countries couldn't put aside their differences and compete with one another.